Well, hello everybody, Queen Bee here. Welcome to the channel and to more Nightingale with me and Jim. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, I've been doing a little bit of off-camera grinding. Um, now, if you have a look at my inventory, I've got some simple head wrap. Um, I've upgraded my caplet to uh, a simple one and I've crafted some simple boots. Now we're going to craft some other stuff as well. We want to replace my gloves, my bottoms and my top. And uh, I think we're pretty much almost at the point where we can do that. Um, so if I just come into, let me just have a look here. Where is it? My sewing bench. My gloves, we're going to need one leather, breeches, two leather and shirt, two leather. We can do that. We've got seven leather in here. Going to need some fibre. What else? Uh, nope, that's it. That's it. So let's craft up our breeches. Now, leather is made, just quickly. Um, leather is made by getting your hide, coming into here, and crafting two hide into one leather. Um, so I've also, if you have a look in here, done a little bit of fishing. Um, I crafted myself a, a fishing rod and we'll have a little bit of a go at fishing later. So let's come in. What was it? Gloves, autofill, craft. That autofill makes it so much easier. The UI isn't perfect. It's, it's not. Let's not beat around the bush. But they have said that they're going to address it. They just couldn't address it in time for release. Um, which is fine, at least they're honest. Um, but what they have done is added this autofill, which makes it a little bit easier. So let's autofill that and craft. So basically, I have been running around, killing things um, to get stuff for my um, my leather. And doing a little bit of exploring. Let's, uh, let's put my gloves on. So our character equipment rating is now 21. We needed it to be 20 to be able to um, to be able to get into that nasty area, which is great. Um, let's extract the dust from these clothes because we're not going to need them anymore and just popped some stuff away so i did kill a couple of nasties found a couple of areas where some of the nasty i think they're called the bounds um spawned in um so we're going to hopefully find some more of that as well so we've got some deer meat here um going to pop those in there yeah, i can put anything else Wait, actually, do you know what? I'm going to grab that and that from there. And we're going to put the leather, the hide, some more meat. In there. And then we're going to come here, grab those. Those away. And I've been using this one over here to put my little trinkets in. I've got a nice little stash. Um, we've got slight healing potion, slight curative potion, slight restful potion, slight strengthening potion, slight uh, abramelin, uh, derived from medieval oil. Uh, such potions have long served to enhance a magician's contracts. It boasts a heady herbal scent with a bitter taste to match. Okay, veiled. Um, Dark, rich, and vibrant. Stealth rating, magic power, effect duration, blocking. Hmm. We'll have a look at those properly, I think. Um, so, because we've got um, level 20, we've, we've, we've got to unlock the antiquarian card. Now, let me have a look here. Map. So there's a portal. These are the dudes that were occupying one of uh, the hostile creatures. I think they're called the Bounds. We've um, found these two guys and dealt with them. Now, 
That's the antiquarian side of power. We can now go there. Now it's 11.47 a.m. So I think start by doing that. If we do that, we can then start thinking about moving. Now somebody did suggest, I did see on a video, somebody suggested building around the Realmic transmuter. Not sure, because that's like on an island here. Um, but I, I think at some point we are probably going to build by this pond here. I quite like the idea of that. I saw the big shimmery stag dude. Um, he's, he's weird. He's not actually a stag, is he? The, the blue dude. Um, I'm not going to take him on though. But let's have a quick look at what we can do. So we've got estate address, desert card, cleansing card, abeyance card. I thought we'd found some cards. Realm cards we have. Maleficent card. Play this to plunge the realm into eternal night and increase the yield of the bounce resources. Wow, blackest ink seems to call out from the beyond the bound, urging them forth. I think this is an industry card. Play this card to increase the yield of crafted ammunition and ingots as well as the crafting time. All right. I mean, the 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 reason that this guy suggested. Um, the Realmic Transmuter is a build base is simply because you can play minor cards on here to affect the world that we're in. So maybe we, maybe we do consider building up here somewhere. It's just not so far away. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Okay, I don't want to take the healing solve by accident. So I do want to, actually I'm not going to sleep because over by Wilhelmina, which is where this uh, antiquarian site of power is, we've got some sleeping spots. So let's crack on guys. And let's crack on in this direction. Excellent. Well, I hope you're all doing well. It is the weekend and um, I am really looking forward to getting stuck in and playing this and thinking of live streaming it tonight so this might actually come out after the live stream um a bit back to front but i want to get as much content out for you as possible so i am recording this ahead of time um i want to do the antiquarian site maybe another site here um at some point but but definitely forge ahead and go and experience other areas Maybe we see the blue dude wandering around. I've seen him twice in the space of an hour. <sighs> Let's um Did you look at that. Else over here? No. I thought we'd completely emptied this out. Back here, I found a little chest. Oh, okay. This card. I thought we took all of that. Maybe not. Maybe. Does it maybe respawn? Possibly. Seems like it might because I'm pretty sure I took all of that. Um, ooh. What is that? Um, iron ingot. What's that? Furtive infusion. Yep, we've got that feast card. That's strange because uh, I did think I picked up a feast card, but maybe we didn't actually pick it up. Um, let's just keep going. Is that rain? It's rain. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Let's get to Wilhelmina quick as we like. A steel of intellect. What's that? Is this it? Let's have a quick look. Ooh. Nothing in there. Oh, hang on. This is where we've just been. 
we turn around? Or is this the same POI? Let's look at this. This is cool. And there's Piggy Pig. I don't want to get tangling with Piggy Pigs. I want to go and see Wilhelmina. Um, we can tangle with Piggy Pigs later, but quite frankly, we've, we've got a lot to do. We want to see Wilhelmina. We want to check out this uh, antiquarian site and get the antiquarian card. I want to check out that building as well. But right now, it's this direction. And I don't want to get caught by hail either. We are pretty wet. I'm going to get sleep as well. Hello, dear. I'm running in the wrong direction. Okay, let's... Where's my umbrella? Does the umbrella stop you actually getting wet? Oh, it's sunny now. Okay. Mind you, it would be good, wouldn't it? We could, we could use the umbrella here. So let's swap this out. I don't think we could put it on that. No, it has to go on that hand. And we'll go. Ooh. Okay, so it does stop you from getting wet. That's good to know. I mean, it would make sense that an umbrella would stop you from getting wet. But <laughs> uh. Let's eat. Let's... Uh... What's that? My roasted deer meat. Consume. Let's consume some of that. Let's consume some of that. It's a nice amount of health. We like it. And we are running in the right direction. Apparently there's somewhere around here that we can, uh, I don't know if we can get up here. Somewhere around here we can actually find an umbrella. Um, piggy piggy. Um, but yeah, I haven't found it. It's in... There's a metal structure and there's a crate. Um, apparently, I was told in the in the comments on one of my last videos. So we will keep an eye out for that. We've looted that. And wow, my health's at 226. That's good. Let's have a short rest. Um, and while we're here, there are a couple of things that I want to learn. Oh, one thing, I think. Simple hammer. There we go. Ah, didn't, like, that's it. That's all we can learn from him. Oh, oh, oh. Now I'm pretty sure. Oh my god, look, we can, we can look inside. That's cool. That is amazing. That's amazing! What's around here? Anything? No. Oh, we can walk all the way around, which is also cool. Oh, but we can't walk all the way around there. Okay. Let's come up here and uh, release Hope Echo. You now stand before the gateway of our first sacred site of power. 
he seems to loom over us despite his short stature, armour gleaming in the fading sun, every bit the picture of valour I had imagined a knight to be. To cross this threshold, it is to be deemed worthy of our ranks. None who lack the courage, the strength, the heart will pass the bounds of our ancient magic. Falter here and forever be barred. My hands shook, my breath caught, to be turned away at the precipice. After a lifetime of longings, if your intentions are true, young spies, have not the surety that you will meet on the other side as equals. With stately grace, he turned from us and dispersed the glimmering magic of the gate. In moments, it held firm anew, and we approached. Woo -hee -hee! Come on, Jim. Jim? You be worthy. Yeah, you're worthy. Oh wow, can we come up here? Yep. What's around here? Oh, it just goes up, does it, Jim? Oh, here we go. What's in here? What's that one? Slight restful potion? Okay. Ooh. Spideys! We don't allow spideys. What's that? Okay, we need to release hope echo. When I stood at last beyond the fabled doorway, I saw my joy reflected in the faces of my companions. Welcome, sister, said the Red Cross Knight. He bowed his head, and I could scarcely believe... Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Leave Jim alone, you bastard. There we go. I'll have your gunpowder, thank you. You alright there, Jim? Oh, Jim. Okay. Ooh, let's come around here. Let's see what, what goes on over here. Oh! What's... Pants? Uh, store infusion, blocking efficiency. We'll have a look at those things later. I'm wondering if we have to go down there. Oh no, there's a downstairs here as well. Come on, Jim. Ooh, nice. What was that? Moderate rejuvenating potion. Jim. Jim, Jim. I think Jim's having a couple of bathing moments. He'll be fine. Something there? No. No. Is there anybody here? I don't think back here. Ooh, no spiders. No. 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 Very cool. Meanwhile, it continues to rain outside. Let's uh, take a cheeky sneaky shot. Press F4, guys, to hide your UI. Okay, screenshot's over. Where are they? Is this where we've been? No. Oh shit, Jim. I'm coming. I'm coming, Jim. Oh, Jim. With your lantern on your head. Give me all your shit. Hmm. Maybe we need to go back up afterwards, Jim. See what was up there. There's another one. There's another one, Jim. Oh, hello. Oh, you fucker. Uh, 
Uh, let's have a look around here. I think I must have missed something up there, but I'm not sure. Let's have a quick peek around here. Was that what we missed? I don't know. Okay, um, let's drop down here, Jim. Come on, Jim. Oh, bugs. We don't like bugs. Whoa, 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 Jim. Jim. Look. Jim, get out of the photo. Come on, Jim. There you go, Jim. Ready, Jim? How are you feeling? What's your health like? What's my weight like? Hmm. It's a stalwart infusion, hubris infusion, furtive infusion, and bristle. Okay, come on, Jim. So this one. Come on this way. It's in here. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Tra la la. Oh, it's just here. Wrong way. Let's come back here. Okay. Next step. I think this is probably all done on this level, Jim. Oh, Jiminy Cricket. Ooh. Oh, start down here. You made it. Oh, so did they. It's very dark down here. Leave Jim be. He's my friend. Oh shit. Oh, bollocks. Ow. Uh, spiders. Uh, I need heals. Nine. Oh, shit. Okay, right. I'm just going in here. Let's, uh, 6F, 8F, and I want it. Consume that as well. Okay, let's go. Let's get this little fudge pocket. Come here! I don't like it. And bristle. Any more? Let's get this guy first. Put the shit at me. Ah! Ah! Fucking lantern head. Hey. Okay. Now we've cleared this, Jim. Very good job, Jim. Seems to heal himself over time. Let's have a look around here. Oh, yeah. Have I got... Oh, no. Oh, I have got torches. Marvellous. Let's, um... It's not very bright still. Right, let's move on. Hang on, I didn't... What's that? Roasted deer. Let's consume that one as well. Get us some more health. And let's repair our weapon, our trusty rusty pickaxe. Oh, okay. Oh, you bastard! Help me. Uh. 
he's gone. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Jim, Jim, Jim! Ah, you fudge pocket. Oh! Give me all your shit! Oh! Where are you? Where are you? Don't hurt Jim! Go on, Jim. I hail you, Jim. Let me see. Thank you, gunpowder. Oh, Jim. Healing. Can I? Can I give him heals? It's not very well. Can I can I send you home? Right, what did he have in his pockets? Is? Oh Jesus Jim, you scared me. Right, iron. Ingot Lan all bathed in the flames, it becomes a refined and stronger ingot. Okay. Okay. Let's get this out. Let's release the echo. A squire, you have known the Red Cross Knights. Only as a layperson, slayer of beasts, conqueror of the wilds, and trepid inch in Preparators of inscrutable fate. These are these legends are indeed true. Blah, 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 stewards of these lands, shepherds of our people, preventing mankind from straying further. This is the duty of the Red Cross Knight. His pace slows as we approach the innermost chamber. Not a sound came from him. Um, even the tapping of boots upon stone seemed to verge on the cacophonous. Though you have much to learn, you've proven worthy of that mantle. In time, our history will become your history. Our bands will become your bands. Bonds will become your bonds. And our enduring legacy will be yours to uphold. So, I would like to just come in and check. Let's repair ship. Let's be sensible. I'm not often sensible, but I think it's a good idea. Uh, there we go. Right, let's go, Jim. Oh, this is cool. You need to get out of the screenshot. What do we do here, Jim? Oh, there's an echo of hope. Okay, I'm not reading this. Something about treasure, first of many, knowledge held within. Uh, is all that separates the realms from those who would succumb to the dangers. Place a hand on the altar, see the realms embrace of you. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Pour yourself a Red Cross Knight. Activate the mechanism. <laughs> oh, ho, 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 ho. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, one. Ow. Uh, uh, my on fire. Bonsai. Ow. Jim. Ow. Let's hide here. 
Let's press nine. F. Hide behind a pillar. Let's hide behind a pillar. Ooh, where'd he go? Big boom. Two. Down. Three. Four. Five. Six. Give me a sword! I want your sword! Ow. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Shut up, phone! Oh, he's dead! He's down! Oh, 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 oh. <gasps> we did it! We need to take over Echo and to break! We did it! Let's park. Come here, park. Park. It says to return to park. Ooh, oh, speak with park. Well done, Realm Walker. Thank you. Well done. Your deed befits the title, and the wider realms are within your reach. Yes, they are. <laughs> we could go realm walking now. Ah, but you feel I've foxed you, betraying no foresight of the dangers held within these walls. Listen, for I come with broom before to sweep this dust behind the door. Though I did smirk, watching from the shadows, I was heartened to a spy that my gifts are not wasted on thee. Our partnership blooms with the seal of a most fruitful requital. Assurances in hand, press onward. Mark inky images upon paper, and so direct the flow of the interrealmic void. Might I suggest, for your first foray, a forest augmented by your new antiquarian knowledge. There are others, like you, lost refugees, strangers to these fey wilds. So too are there more seasoned realm walkers who might point you toward Nightingale better than I. Go then, with newly fashioned cards. Awaken yonder portal, and tread on toward that which is boundless beyond the measurable. I'm Okay, that was so cool. That was, and this is just beauty. Beauty! Beauty personified. A little bit about Puck. Okay, so Puck is obviously a character in Nightingale, but um, he's also a character in Shakespeare. So many of you might know Puck from Shakespeare. And during the tutorial, you'll probably remember, he said he's also known as Robin. And he talks about being um, the servant of Oberon. Now, Oberon is also a character in Shakespeare. Oberon is a character that was created by Shakespeare as the king of the forest, uh, the king of the fairies um, in A Midsummer's Night's Dream or A Midsummer Night's Dream. So Puck is supposed to be the servant of um, Oberon, the king of the fairies. But Puck does not originate from Shakespeare. Oberon does, Puck does not. So while Shakespeare created Puck, Puck was around since it's basically, a, I did a little bit of a Google as to how long Puck has been around. And he's, they can find stories back as far as 1000 AD um, about Puck, also known as Robin or Hobgoblin. Now um, they call him Robin Goodfellow and it's it's supposed to be an ironic name. This is because Puck, Puck is actually a trickster. Puck uh, plays pranks on humans, leads them astray. So that's why the, the surname Goodfellow is supposed to be a little bit of a joke on that. Um, basically the opposite of what Puck is. So it got me thinking, Puck is a trickster, Puck is an arsehole, Puck plays pranks on humans. Um, I wonder whether he's in this, yes, to, to lead us, but also on, on a merry dance. 
to kind of lead us astray. Um, it did get me thinking, and the end of a Midsummer Night's Dream, and obviously they're using Puck as the, the character to lead us and, and teach us, etc. Um, there's a hint that it has all been but a dream. I wonder whether we're going to find out that we've just been dreaming about a place called Nightingale or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. But there's a little bit of a, a fleshing out of who Puck really is um, of where they've got uh, Puck from. But I do love that they're using Puck. I do love that they have taken inspiration from people like Shakespeare and... Um, they're using a bit of a trickster there. Come on, Jim. Let's go have a quick sleep. I mean, we can probably sleep the night here. Um, that's probably a good thing. Oh, I can only have a short rest. Okay. Mm. So what I'll probably do, it is getting night. Uh, it's going to be cold. I'm going to get a few sticks. We're going to have a long rest here. And then we're going to go back. Oh, my God. Look at that. How amazing. is that that's beautiful very red jim very very red indeed see so, yeah, you don't forget um hide the ui you press um f4 oh it's gone very dark now very dark a few more sticks And have a long rest. So guys, you uh, I'm sure there are many of you watching that are playing. Um, do let me know what you think. Um, what are your thoughts on the game? What would you like to see in there? What are you most enjoying? Um, also, if you're not playing, why not? Um, are you going to purchase the game? Are you going to give it a go? That would be really cool. Um, let's have a look here. Let's just have a look here. This, uh, just thinking. Can I get through that? No. There's something over here. It says, kill the fa fo foe within. I mean, maybe we... What's this one? Yeah. What do we have to be to get into there? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. I wonder is there a way that we can tell? So my ping's 43. My FPS is hovering around 60. Interesting, since G-Force has come into play, my ping has dropped down. Hmm. Uh, my, my FPS is less. Slightly less, only slightly less. Well, that I was kind of hovering between. What's that? Oh, nice. I was hovering between, um, I'd say uh, 70 and 80 FPS, and now I'm in, in the realms of 50. Uh, wolf coming for me. No. 60 yeah oh, it's, it's still not bad okay so I am on my way home but I'm just um, gonna show you fishing it's pretty simple you do need some stamina for it if you run out of stamina while fishing then uh, you're basically not gonna get anything you gotta see the tension you gotta keep the tension low I'll show you what happens when you uh, when you get when you don't keep the tension low. There we go. So let's throw another one out. It's a rainbow trout. Now, let's say the tension goes high and you lose the fish. So you literally, the only thing you want to do is make sure you're following the fish in, in the right direction. The higher the, so the rainbow trout is 30. <coughs> 
is going to take longer to reel in than the than the other trout, which was a ten. So that's why you're going to need good stamina. This one is being a bit of a beast. Wiggly little screw up. Uh, I'm not sure we're even going to get this one. Come here, you bastard. He's a real wriggler. Who's going to give him first? You or me? I think it's going to be me. Yeah, we're going to lose him. <sighs> yep, we lost him. And there he is. What you talking, Trout? <laughs> Challenge completed. Marvellous. Oh, okay, no. This one's level 10 as well, so we'll just get this one. We've got loads of meat, loads of food. So we'll just get this one, but I did just want to show you the fishing. I'm hoping that, like, we get different fish in different places. I'm assuming we probably do. I know we get different animals, so don't see why fish would be any different. I'm going to put, um, I want to keep the sickle on me. Let's just go into here, swap those out like so. Pop that in there. Right. Okie pokes, guys. So, I want to make sure I've got enough food and then we're going to go, um, craft um an antiquarian cup can we can do that here can't we sewing bench just consume a little bit of food like that antiquarian card we're gonna need ink paper and essence and a forest card ink and paper we can do all of that Ink, paper, antiquarian card. Play this card to seek a realm of middling danger, settled by druids and rife with fey ruins. It's believed that long ago the fey favoured antiquarian realms, traces of their mischief. Um, I don't see what else is there, but let's say autofill craft. And there we go. Oh, listen, guys. Come on, up, up, up. Look, it's the blue dude. Where is he? Hello. Look at him. How cool is he? The spirit of the forest and he's a he's a beast to take on. I'm not collecting it. Oh look at him. He's so cool. He's amazing. There we go, right. All right, so we've crafted both of the cards and we then... What is he doing here? I hope he's not going to knock any of my, uh, like, my base down. He does knock stuff down. Can he knock bases down? Oh, wow! So cool. I'm just gonna watch him to see whether like is he gonna settle here? Is this gonna make this his home? Oh fuck. Hang on, what's this? 
What was that? What did he just do? Is he going now? That was weird. But I'm going to take the spoils. Okay. So let's put these things away. Let's then just check the inventory, realm cards. So yeah, we've got our antiquarian card and our forest card. For the next episode, guys, we're going to traverse the realms. We're going to go to a fey realm, but like, it's been nice to see the blue dude with you. Really nice. And it's been nice to go and get um, that, that first boss done. That was really fun. That was great. So I'm going to call it here. If you've enjoyed this, don't forget to like, comment and sub. Do pop loads of comments in the comment section. I would love to hear of you all. And until next time, guys, stay safe and take care.